Hello friends, it's Allison. I hope you're having a super happy day so far. Today is just a little bit exciting because one, I'm filming a day in my life, which is always a good time. And two, I'm traveling to a galaxy far, far away. So I'm sure I'll include it in the title and thumbnail. So this really isn't much of a surprise, but today I'm going to the cast previews of Star Wars at Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. I'm so excited. So it already opened in Disneyland on the West Coast in California. So we've already kind of seen what to expect a little bit, but I'm super excited to see the Walt Disney World version. And I love Star Wars. I'm not a huge fan, honestly. Like I don't, I didn't grow up watching the movies, but Brandon, my husband is a big, big fan and I'm taking him next Friday. So today I'm going with my mom because she has a cast preview and then I have my cast preview next Friday. And I'm taking B, but she's taking me today, so I'm really excited. And I think today is actually the first day of cast previews, so I haven't seen much about it, but they're actually letting us take cameras, which they typically don't do with these new lands. They usually um, make everyone like leave their cameras at home or in their car and even their phones because they don't want anything to be spoiled. But they're letting us take it this time, so I'm really excited to take you all along. But before we go, two but two we have to get prepared i mean i gotta get my star wars flex on so i gotta paint my nails i was gonna do like a cool galactic black kind of nail thing but it's only for one day and i don't really want to have to like take it because i don't love the dark polish especially in summer like maybe in fall or winter but i'm just gonna go with my classic white maybe add some glitter because i am about to go to target because i also need to do a little diy situation so that i look the part for galaxy's edge later so i'm gonna add some flair to a skirt i have and it'll be good but let's get this started so the first stop of the day is going to the library because i have a book due today and someone has it on hold so i can't renew it which i'm really sad about but it's fine so gonna go to the library and then to target to get diy supplies but this is my outfit of the morning just a little elevation worship t-shirt some ripped express jeans and these cute little mules from boohoo so fashionable not really i'm just wearing a t-shirt <laughs> Target. I got some necessary items. I got some hard as nails strengthening top coat nail polish because I need some. I ran out. And then I also, when I was picking out that nail polish, I saw this one, which is the most magical nail polish. And I've actually owned this one before. And I love it because when you paint it on, like nail polish always chips for me after a couple days but this one since it's just like sparkles it's just completely sparkly if you reapply some it's not obvious but for regular polish sometimes you can like see the layered difference of thickness so i love this nail polish and it's very like star wars-esque so it's perfect and then i got some glitter and this will be used in my diy later which i will show you Okay, it's time to paint our nails. I'll show you guys what it looks like um, and how thick it is. Like I mentioned, it's, it's pretty thick because some of these sparkly nail polishes, they're so thin and it's basically just like clear polish with a little bit of sparkle every now and then. But this goes on nice and thick. You have to do a lot of layers still, but it works pretty good. At least it used to. I'm hoping it still does. It's called SE Set in Stone, and I will be sure to link it down below. Okay, so this is it after one coat. And I will show you at the end. Okay, I just finished. Look at these sparkly cuties. Oh, of course it's not focusing. Here they are, the finished product. I think they look super cute and fun. And perfect for Galaxy's Edge. Yay. Okay. 
Okay, so I've been making these little sequin star sparkle felt pieces and they're a little ratchet if you look closely, but the idea is to add them to this skirt just for some extra flair. So it's super simple and I think it actually looks cute. When I first started making it, I was just getting nervous because it was like, I don't know how the sparkles are gonna stick. I should have had mod mod podge i thought i had some at home but nope just some elmer's glue so hopefully it stays i think i'm gonna spray hairspray on them i'm gonna google if it supposedly works because i've never tried that before but since hairspray is kind of sticky i'm thinking it might help them stick but yeah so now after i finish that i'm going to sew them on the skirt that way i can easily remove them and wear the skirt just without the stars because it's a cute skirt and then I need to put my makeup on and start getting ready because it's only like an hour and a half until I have to leave. Look at that guys, it says hairspray is a fantastic option for sealing glitter. Okay friends, it is almost showtime. I am about to leave my apartment for Hollywood Studios Galaxy's Edge right now, but I wanted to show you my new and improved outfit of the day with the little DIY. So I'm wearing this graphic tee and it is a stormtrooper with a surfboard at the beach, which is just amazing and so Florida. And I have these little cute marble barrettes in my hair and I did these little low bun ponytails, kind of like a little casual Princess Leia look. I actually love this hairstyle. I really should wear it more often. Um, and then we have our tulle skirt DIY as I showed you guys. Overall, I think it's cute and it adds a little more flair than just the skirt itself because it's a fun skirt. But with the pop of stars, it really ties in the look. And then I'm just wearing my white Nikes so I can be super comfy and run around. Okay, we are currently in Disney's Hollywood Studios, about to go and get it How are you feeling, Mom? Uh, pretty excited, kind of nervous, I don't know why. I feel like anxious too, I don't know. <laughs> Mainly because there's rain clouds, so I just want to get there before it rains. <laughs>
interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I just got back to my car. I'm still in the parking lot of Hollywood Studios, but it started raining. You can tell by the window, but we really got to do pretty much, I mean, not everything. We didn't do everything, but um, my mom had to head home and I'm coming again next Friday, like I said, so I wasn't feeling too frantic like I needed to complete everything, which is awesome. But the cast preview was so cool because everything was open. You could buy all the merchandise, you could eat all the food, and they were giving a cast discount, which is just so awesome and so sweet. So 10 out of 10 experience. It's such a beautiful land, very immersive. And I tried the blue milk and it was so yummy actually. I could never finish the whole thing because it's sweet, it's super sweet. But it was like a berry milk and it was non-dairy, which is awesome because I don't really like heavy milky things. So 10 out of 10 for that. I'm interested to try the green milk. Maybe I'll try that next week with Brandon. But be sure to follow me on Instagram if you like this kind of thing because I will I probably won't vlog next week with Brandon, but I'll probably post some Insta stories or something, but we'll see. Maybe I'll end up vlogging, who knows. But it was a really cool experience. I don't wanna say too much because if you're going, like I don't wanna spoil anything, but Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run was awesome. It was definitely aggressive, like, because you're moving around and it's interactive because you like press buttons and each person has a different role in the ride, which is cool. It's not one of those rides where you just sit back and relax and just chill. Um, but I think everyone's gonna really, really like it. I will say though, like, I'm a flight of passage fanatic and that was like the newest ride in Pandora. Um, well, like the biggest, newest ride in Pandora, and that's still my favorite. I was I was thinking this ride might be like might top that one but that one's still my top favorite but this one's a lot more interactive and cool and adventure so it fits with the land but seriously really great time and I'm so thankful I got to go and I'm so thankful my mom took me on her cast preview but thank you guys for following along and thank you for saying hi if I saw you at Galaxy's Edge because I saw a few people and it was awesome but that's it for today. I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner with my husband, but I'll see you guys super soon. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.